Have you ever been stuck with a phone locked by FRP? Just like when you factory reset your Samsung A20 and couldn't enter the system due to a forgotten Google account password. Many users face this, whether after buying a used device, resetting, or due to software glitches. Don't worry! In this video, I'll show you three efficient ways to bypass the FRP lock on your Samsung A20. Let's get started! Method 1. Bypass FRP lock by recovering the Google account. If you remember your Google email or phone number, this problem will be easier to solve. Step 1. Click the sign in button, then enter your Google username or email. Step 2. Select forgot password, then follow the instructions that will show up. Step 3. After you complete the password reset, Google will sync the new password across all your devices within 24 hours. Method 2. Bypass FRP lock using Google FRP code. In the second method, we provide you with the Google FRP code. It may help you bypass Google account verification. Here are the steps to use this code. Step 1. Swipe up on the lock screen and click the emergency call icon on the screen. Step 2. Next, dial hashtag 0852 hashtag hashtag or hashtag 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 4636 hashtag hashtag. But it doesn't work now. In fact, the Google FRP code only succeeds about 50% of the time, and it may cause irreversible damage to the operating system. Method 3. Bypass FRP lock in simple steps. Bypassing FRP on Samsung A20 with DroidKit is the easiest way. As a professional FRP bypass tool, DroidKit allows you to bypass Google account verification safely and securely, effectively removing the FRP lock in just a few clicks without a password. Besides, DroidKit can also help you unlock screen locks, fix or reinstall the system, recover lost data, and more. Next, let's look at how to use this tool for Samsung A20 FRP bypass. First, open DroidKit on your computer and click FRP Bypass. Next, connect your Samsung A20 to your computer using a USB cable and click the Start button. Now, DroidKit will ask you to choose your device brand. Click Samsung and proceed. After selecting Samsung as your device brand, the tool will start preparing the configuration file for your Android device. Once prepared, select Start to Bypass. Then just follow the on-screen instructions to complete some settings. Finally, DroidKit will bypass the Samsung FRP lock. You will see the interface when the process is complete, and your phone will restart without the FRP lock. Let's check whether DroidKit works or not. As you can see, the FRP lock has been bypassed. Above is all the content of the video. Thanks for watching. It is said that those who like it after watching this video will be luckier in 2025. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.